Sapper Aaron Beatty is just one of the 4,500 soldiers from the Desert Rats due to deploy with three commander brigades to Afghanistan. Aaron's a Royal Engineer and Herrick 14 will be his first operational tour. He'll be involved in a number of specialist tasks, but before he heads home for pre-deployment leave, he spent the past few weeks in barracks finishing off his final personal and professional preparations. Well, we've had um, all our new kit in, so we've spent a lot of time naming and tagging that because it's a whole variety of new kit. Um, we've had all of our med docs are up to date, we've had all of our jabs for going out there. We've been issued a load of malaria tablets to be taking a course of them before and during whilst we're out there. And just um, setting our rooms up for leaving, mostly. So what does that involve then? Uh, it involves just like packing up all your personal kit and le making sure your room's in a decent state for when you go back for if any new soldiers turn up, they can obviously move into our bed space whilst we're gone. It's not just personal gear that has to be prepped before an op tour. Vehicles and their associated kit have to be ready for storage or shipping out. And in case the worst happens, family details have to be updated so the army knows who to contact. But there's plenty of help on hand. I don't think the, the, the younger guys are, are expecting anything to happen to them. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm not expecting anything to happen to me. But um, with the wills, uh, the army likes everybody to have a will. Um, if they're deploying or not. So the will's pretty a standard thing for, for military personnel to have. Letters home, we, we do not advise, but we talk about uh, writing letters um, to the parents just in case anything does happen. I'm sure it's not going to well. Like many of the other young soldiers anticipating their first deployment to Afghanistan, they've had plenty of questions fired at them from loved ones back home. We've just told them we've had the best of training. We've been, they know how much training I've done because we've been constantly at it for the past year now. and. They've like, just been telling them how it's going, how long I'm going to be there for, and they're just glad that like, obviously we're going to get our two weeks hour and hour halfway through it. So they're all really supportive in that lot. The main body of pre deployment training might be over, but for Aaron and colleagues, it's back to the classroom for top up training on this medics refresher course. But the months of preparation will soon be over as the flight to Afghanistan gets even closer. We're so confident in our role and so confident in our teammates that all of us can't wait to get out there, to be honest with you. Two weeks leave are up next where Aaron can say his goodbyes and enjoy some time off before joining his colleagues on Herrick 14. Annie Hairsign, Forces News, Hona.